all right guys so welcome back to the channel in today's video i want to go over um what are some of the network engineering projects you can do if you're a beginner and you're just confused in terms of projects uh, and that's what i'm going to go and explain to you guys so what do i mean by project so uh, if you guys want to get to into a field like network engineering like a professional field there are going to be things you're going to have to learn because if you're a network engineer, that's going to assume you understand network architecture, you understand network devices, you understand how to configure those devices, how to troubleshoot the devices and how to maintain those devices. Though that's really the main uh, sort of things you're going to have to focus on. Right. And the issue is a lot of certifications, for example, the CCNA, um, CompTIA net plus a plus, whatever these certifications are test taking exams. And when you're doing test taking exams, the only thing they give you is a per paper certification that says, hey, I know how to, you know, I understand networking you, from a theory basis, but not from a tangible practical basis. So how do we get the projects and what sort of projects should we do? So when it comes to projects, the easiest project I recommend as a beginner project is, first of all, this is all going to be in the context of Packet Tracer. And if you guys know, Packet Tracer is a um, application created by Cisco, which basically uh, mimics a network. Um, it's a very simple application, very easy to use. But I recommend this application wholeheartedly because if you're a beginner in tech, th this like application is quite useful because it just gets you in the in the mode of understanding how networks work, how to configure, and it's very, it's how I got started, and I recommend it a lot. So I'll put the link in the description for that. But in terms of projects, the first project I would build is a very simple, you know, you have a, like maybe a layer three switch and another layer three switch. And then on one layer three switch, you have, you know, multiple VLANs. On the other one, you have multiple VLANs. And basically you want to have some sort of communication between the two devices, be, between the two different networks. So the idea is you want to have two local area networks connected to each other. Um, and then have some sort of traffic between them using VLANs. So that's one of the easiest projects you can do, the easiest ones you can possibly build. Super easy. You can watch the tutorial. You can even ask ChatGPT, hey, can you please create a layer three or, or two local area networks using a layer three switch? Um, a very simple project on ChatGPT, and it'll literally give you a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how to build the project. Then you can just copy and just follow the steps that ChatGPT gives you um, or whatever, or Gemini, whatever AI tool you use, follow the steps and then you can build a project. Okay, then you understand that you're building the project. Now that when you built it, then you can start it over again, do it again and again and again until you fully understand what you're doing. And then you can even ask the AI like, hey, how do I, why am I doing this certain step and why are we doing it? That way you're actually learning and doing the practical experience at the same time, which is going to be critical for you guys' learning because you're A, you're learning the skill by doing, and then B, you're actually doing it so you actually have a tangible experience that you can talk about during interviews. And it's going to be so much more easier to talk about talk about this stuff during interviews once you actually do the project. So that's the first thing. First thing is, I would say, a local area network, simple, easy project. The next type of project I would do is I would add some more pieces to it, right? So um, let's say you have three different networks and three different subnets. So completely different networks. Um, you can have maybe, you know, office A here and office B here, right? In office A, you know, you have your server, that server connects to some to, you know, has like TACX, DNS, DHCP, um, which can, which basically in that local area network, um, you're going to have private IPs, right? So, so to keep it simple in the, in the private network um, for company A, you're going to have private IPs that uh, are given out using DHCP. Um, and then you have a default gateway that ex, um, goes to the internet and it is going to use NAT. So net network address translation to translate that I, that private IP to a public IP. Then you want that public IP to go to the internet basically. So that's really the first project or the second project I recommend is to have some sort of office building in that office building. You have the private local area network within that local area network, of course, create VLANs, right? Um, and of course, create multiple switches um, and multiple layer three switches and maybe one router that connects upstream to the internet service provider. Once you do all of that, obviously use protocols like DHCP, um, you know, um, all those other protocols, um, maybe you're probably not going to want to use any IGP, so internal gateway routing protocols. 
you don't there's no need to do that but in this topology i would recommend you use nat dhcp um and then potentially um you know for all those end devices you could probably add some access points as well um, um to that so you can have some you know because it's a business example and then obviously have the server and if you want you can you know configure it with tacx um which is basically like an im a uh, identity access management server um, that you can add to that home network. So, and and here's the thing, when it comes to building out a network, and I know I was kind of rambling about that network, but when it comes to building out a network, you can always add to it. You can always change stuff. So make it small, make it a small network. And then obviously, you know, use NAT to translate that IP and you can do your own thing from there. So that's a really cool network that I recommend. It would be awesome for you guys to do and really give you guys tons and tons and tons of experience um, because once you can do that and you do it so many times over, you do it five, six, seven, eight, nine times. Once you go into the interview, you're going to be so much more confident in your skill set to the point where you're like, man, I can do anything. Like I've done this before. This is how I've done it. I built this network or that, that network. That's so much more valuable than just getting another certification. Um, as opposed to doing this kind of project, which is you may not have that paper, but your the way you think is going to be different, and the way you you're talking is going to be different too. And one of the things I recommend is try um, putting like recording yourself talking about the project for your for your personal self um, to to sort of explain what you're doing. That way, you can kind of hear yourself and see what you're saying, and then you can kind of use that to get better during the interviews. And I keep saying interviews because at the end of the day, a lot of people struggle is they get thousands of certifications they are all you have all these book knowledge information but then when they go into the interview and they ask them what have you done it's just they they don't know they don't know what to say and the issue is they haven't done any projects so that is the number one thing i recommend is doing all those projects and those projects i recommend like i said simple in the projects like two local area networks connected having vlans another one like a, um, like an office network um you know some other networks can be like a data center network as well where you have like a spine and leaf topology and within that topology you know you have your top of rack switches you have your you know your routers your switches and then you have servers below that and then you can have it connected um using a bunch of lags which are link aggregation um which is like multiple links connected so that's one of the cool things you can do as well as build a data center network um and just work with it and just have fun you know it's all about if you're doing projects, it's all about having fun. Projects are always fun to do. There's so much more fun than studying for certification. I know you guys love certifications because it it feels good when you get that, that hey, I passed my certification. But when you look back, you're like, what did I even do? You know, do the projects. The projects is where the highest value of skill you're going to learn because you're learning by doing. And that's the easiest way to learn, guys. Because at the end of the day, when you get a job as a network engineer, you're not going to be test taking. Right? So that's the main thing I want you guys to know. Um, so keep doing those types of projects. Um, and if you guys want, um, and also another thing I want to mention is when you're doing the projects, use AI heavily. That's going to be the easiest way for you to get the step-by-step -step guide. Like literally all you got to do on ChatGBT is say, Hey, can you, I'm working on, I'm on Cisco packet tracer. I want you to create a data center network for me. Um, give me a step-by-step -step guide on how I would create a data center network topology with the configs on Packet Tracer. And it's going to spit out everything you need to know, every single thing you need to know. So then from there, you can just take that information and actually build projects, right? And then you can do more and more projects. The more you do, the better you get. And it's just going to be so much easier for you to grow in your skill set. So hopefully this makes sense, guys. Projects are always key. Um, I'm going to give you some link, some of the information I added below about Packet Tracer and some of the projects. Um, and if you guys have any questions or if you guys only want a mentorship from me where I can literally teach you exactly how to become a network engineer and land a network engineer role in under 12 weeks, feel free to click the link down below and I can show you exactly how to do that. Um, but with that being said, everyone, I really do appreciate your guys' time. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys you want to subscribe, you know, also subscribe. Um, but also comment down below what other videos you want to see. Um, if you like this video, please give it a you know like us as well and please comment below. But with that being said, I really do appreciate you guys' time and I'm wishing you guys all the best. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and peace.